Welcome back to Knights of the Lunch Table podcast. Today we are covering everything nerdy and what excites us for the future of those topics. Between video games, books, movies, shows. So, let's get started. Anything you guys want to say? Oh yes, right before we actually got started with this, I had mentioned something. You all remember a very wonderful children's tale called The Nightmare Before Christmas, correct? Yes, I do. Mm, Very popular. Well, there was actually a book released on August 2nd, so as of this recording, just last week, called the, uh, something about the Pumpkin Queen. Let me get the exact title here, I apologize. Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. Huh. And it's a book that I'm, actually, I kind of want to read. I'm excited about it. I just need to get money together to do so. Is it related to uh, yes. Nightmare Before Christmas? Is it like a sequel? Yes. Like Jack Skellington it's... had a child made? No, it's a, actually or... this one's about Sally. Oh. Okay, that was gonna be my second. That was gonna be my guess. It was like, is it about yep. Sally? Okay. Yeah. As part of the uh, what, what do you call like the general summary of a book? I guess so it's just anyways. like all of her own point of view of the story. Well, um, She's trapped in it a states tower that, and... <laughs> no, uh, it says Jack and Sally are truly meant to be, or are they? Sally Skellington is officially newly minted Pumpkin King after a whirlwind courtship with her true love, Jack, who Sally adores with every inch of her fabric seams. If only she could say the same for her new role as Queen of Halloween Town. So I'm assuming it takes place after the events. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah, but but when when I get paid here soon, I'm gonna pick it up, hmm. and I'll let you all know how it is. Oh, that Weird. is kind of exciting. What that a hipster! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, what I am excited to watch is uh, so I've already watched the first episode, but um, I actually it was just like a week or two ago. I found out that they made a live-action uh, TV show for The Sandman, which is one of my favorite graphic novel series ever. It's by Neil Gaiman. Um, it's about, like, the king of dreams, like, you know, The Sandman and everything. Yeah. And is yeah. like, super friggin' good. Um, so I watched the first episode of the show, just like, well, Warner Brothers has a track record of making not so good live action stuff. So I was like, mm, <laughs> hopefully this won't be complete trash. But on the flip side, <laughs> they Neil burned Gaiman, me once before, but they won't do it again. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, no. So on the flip side, Neil Gaiman has like a good track record of making good live action stuff. Cause all of his, like most of the stuff that Neil Gaiman writes that is then made into live action. He has like, he's very involved in the making of the live action stuff to make sure they get it right. Um, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. So I watched the first episode and I am still like really, uh, like I'm excited. I'm cautiously optimistic. I think they did the first episode at least very well. People will probably okay. complain about stupid little stuff. Like, um, they changed a couple characters races. Um, and they like, wow. they like, gender swapped a character i think and like it's whatever they like added in a new character somewhere or something like that i'm like eh, eh, whatever like people are gonna get mad about that stuff but like if they do like just shut up like it doesn't change the story at all story is still the same it's still good um but yeah i think the casting is really good i think like the, like visually everything looks nice but yeah so i'm i'm cautiously excited about it hoping that it doesn't get ruined but yeah it, it looks good so far in my opinion and anyone that disagrees with me fight me uh-huh. Bring that's it on. on netflix isn't it yeah it's on netflix uh, i forgot to mention that yeah, yeah, yeah. um okay but yeah any any uh, i remember reading some article about it that people were like in your position where they're like optimistic about it but like very very scared about how it's going to turn out yeah yeah, like, I saw people, like, looked at the, like, watched the trailer, and they were like, oh, this looks like garbage, and I'm like, what are you talking, like, the trailer looked good to me, like, but, I don't know, I guess people just have, 
I, it's, it's a bunch of that stuff of, like, I think people have a very specific vision in their own head, and they can't oh, yeah. detach that from what, like, the author's vision is. Yeah, and, like, they, that's, they can't just, that's always been a big problem. They can't stop, like, just, like, I don't know, enjoying, like, they, they can't, like, let themselves just enjoy something and stop, you know, expecting yeah, like, something, you know? <laughs> Like, yeah, it's cool that they want to follow, like, the source material, but at the same time, it's not, like, a one-to-one recreation. There's a lot of times where the directors will take creative rights to do what they want. Yeah. Well, and obviously there's a balance there. We don't want to, um, you know... You don't want to change everything, but at the same yeah. time, you want to put your own little spin on it. Well, and, and you don't want a uh, live-action film which shall not be named... Um, <laughs> scenario you, you know what i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> the 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 main character's name change and the, the little picture that you had put in yeah, our discord yeah, chat. yeah, yeah. The, the one yeah the, the film that doesn't exist um, <laughs> and god I, like, if you know what i'm talking I, about comment down below if you're watching on youtube Fair enough. And if you're on one of the other platforms, uh, get bent, I guess, because you can't comment. Uh... <laughs> <Jeez>. No! <laughs> no! That's not okay. okay. Yeah, that, that's my big thing, like, big, like, show that I'm excited to watch the rest of. Or at least one of them that I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah. Well, um, as you guys probably know, past maybe few days, week... I've been working on modding Skyrim and wrestling with everything that that involves uh, between trying to figure out why it's crashing constantly and getting all the mods working together. But I finally got it, most of them to work well. Um, so I have like several graphical updates. I have uh, different like weather systems, immersive patrols, so like there's more people out on the roads, so the world feels like fuller. Like Ooh. I'm doing this all in VR. Uh oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah, like VR Skyrim. Like it's really cool. Added a lot of different like spells and like revamped the skill trees. Um it just I have a lot more to go still, but like, so far, I've played a little bit, and it's actually a lot of fun. Like, I don't think I can go back to regular Skyrim. Yeah. Yep. That's... You should add, uh, if it won't break anything, you should add a, the, um... Oh, God, there was one uh, at mod that I used to use that it was, like, uh, it added, um, like, fairy tale, like, from the anime Ooh. fairy tale music to it. So like you get into the like get into a battle and you get just get that freaking and it just it feels so hype. I loved that. So <laughs> that, that's that's my recommendation. And I don't know if I would have that kind of music, but like if I could okay, find I mean, some like to, to be good, fair, like... it doesn't sound like what I did. It actually sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's exact just, just audio. Just to clarify. Yeah. <laughs> Just some person trying to replicate the song with their own voice. I, I'm now, no, no. See, we're going to take that little segment right there. I'm going to pay someone to make it a mod in Skyrim just to put it in there. Oh, by the way, another really quick shout out to another YouTube channel. There's uh, a YouTube channel called Alina, Alina or Alina, I don't know how to say it, Ginger Tail. She does like uh, covers of like. Um, uh, like uh, video game music and stuff, and she oh, did yeah, the I know her. theme, I and know her. like she does like a vocal part in it, and she hits this like crazy high note, and I'm like, how do you do that? But yeah, she makes solid stuff, so go check that out too. Yeah. Oh, I, I actually I just looked her up. I actually haven't subscribed to her. Yeah. yeah. No, no association. Listen to her a lot of her stuff. Like, she also yeah, has she like Naruto content, music, so. a lot of different yeah. animes and stuff. So yeah, go check that out. Yeah. But what with her, what caught me was her rendition of the Wellerman was actually a really nice cover. Oh yeah, I seen that one too. She had like yeah. a shark toy that she was holding on to. Yeah, yeah. I, like the... yeah. I like the Naruto one because she kind of yells at her cat. <laughs> oh god, you <laughs> find that one now. That okay. sounds kind uh, of hilarious. I have to watch that after. I say I have that on my watch later. So yeah, but um, um. Um. <laughs> so, 
Like, aside from, um, like that, I know that there was, like, that D&D movie, which I'm still not completely sure about, but I'm still a little interested in. I'm, I'm like, kind of uh, psyched for it. I feel minor like it, intrigue. I feel like it's going to be enjoyable one way or the other. Like, it's either going to be so oh, yeah. bad that it's just fun to watch, or it's actually going to be good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I hear a lot of jokes about it. Well, well, of course. I mean, yeah. It's like halfway through the movie, uh, they have to stop, and everyone has to schedule a time for all of them to come <laughs> back and watch it. <laughs> One of the characters just doesn't come back, and you're, there's no explanation as to why. Or, or the movie cuts to black halfway through, then it says seven months later. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Except oh, it picks up at the exact same time. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Well, mind you, there's some minor like changes, like people have on different clothing or different colored yeah. clothing. You know? yeah. <laughs> uh, Just be... the same oh. conversation that was happening like a moment ago. Yeah. I, say, I think I think Viva La Dirt League made a video like that. Another, oh, I'm another sure they have. another quick shot. We're just gonna keep mentioning other YouTube channels. <laughs> just I don't That's think okay. we should do too much, but yeah, sure. Well, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing bad about it, you know, we're, oh, as long as we're not yeah. shit-talking anyone. Nah, we yeah. gotta bring people to our stuff. Although I do, I do, well, we I do think that I've, that I've talked shit about one or two YouTube channels, I don't remember which For ones. Shame. But, um, For shame. I don't know if I've ever mentioned them by name, but I definitely have. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. Wait. <laughs> um... So yeah. Oh snap! Oh my god! I'm so stupid. Okay, so. Um, Your words. <laughs> <laughs> so I just remembered. Um, I mean, like by the time that this comes out, it'll already have passed. But I, it, I mean, am going slash went. I guess because this will be. You know what I'm. You know what I'm freaking saying. I am going as, to in the past. As, and... as <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As of this recording. As of recording, I am uh, this weekend going to the Rocket League World Championships, so that's mm-hmm. going to be awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing that I'm looking forward to, I guess. It's not really Dope. a form of media. I, I mean, I guess I'm watching a video game, so I guess, I don't know, it'll be fun. Um, yeah. So It's eSports. Yeah, eSports. There's yeah, no different it, than but, just, like, Watching someone play a yeah. sports game. Football. That'll be a good time. Yeah. <laughs> and side note, uh, this will probably release either the week, like the fri- like the last Friday I'm up there, or before, I don't know. But uh, I may or may not be, as of the release of this coming up to visit. video, will yeah. be in Wisconsin. So that's, uh, so that's you know, uh, unfortunate for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We well, I mean, we probably should try to do some sort of like special recording, yeah. at least once while you're here. Yeah. At the right, get together and something. Yeah, just just a little something yeah, at the yeah. strip club. Oh, totally. <laughs> I don't think they allow yeah, so audio recording. I'm pretty sure that's actually inside. illegal. Um, yeah, <laughs> they don't allow video well, recording. I'm not so sure I, about I, audio. I, well, I, I don't think it's illegal, like unless you like. It's usually against like company yeah, or see, like you, the clubs. Well, policy. no, like it, so it would be illegal because it's considered a like privately owned business. But if you got yeah. permission, then it'd be fine. <laughs> I know just the place to go. <laughs> oh God, that worries me. That you immediately know where to go for that. Um, <laughs> well, no, I just I know the owner of the business, and I'm actually friends with a lot of the girls that work there. So, oh well, fuck. Oh, actually, man. I'm shit. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so that's a massive tangent. Um, but yeah. yeah, and probably part of it might be cut out because oh, I'm sure a lot of that's probably cut a out. Chunk you could just cut out. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to Wisconsin. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you'll on need a, to bring like four coats for our weather. On a positive note, uh, I got flights for like super cheap. Oh nice! Yeah, yeah, I got a flight that to uh, to Fort Worth for like fifty bucks, which I didn't know you could fly for that. Holy cheap. hell! Yeah, and then uh, a f- there there's a flight actually at the day after I leave uh, Fort Worth to go up to Texas, like or to go up to Texas. What the hell? To go up to Wisconsin, <laughs> um, that flies into Chicago uh, 
for like 30 something dollars last time I checked. I was like, what the heck? I'm like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I go out to eat with, with like a friend and our bill ends up being more than this flight costs. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's mind blowing. But yeah, but unfortunately it, that's the day after I have to go up and it's, and it's not worth staying in a hotel room for an extra night for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have a couch. Yeah. No, no, okay, you... How how the fuck am I supposed to stay on your couch when I'm in Fort Worth? Very careful. You drive up to his <laughs> place and sleep on the couch. And then drive back to Fort Worth so I can fly up to Wisconsin for $38? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. It's the, it's the flight from Fort Worth, Texas, up to Chicago. Oh, no, you gotta drive all the way up to Wisconsin, sleep on his couch, drive all the way back to get the flight, get <laughs> back to Wisconsin. <laughs> but I, I'm not thirty-six dollars. I was tempted to like, um, to like stay the extra night because like I would be saving fifty dollars ish on the flight. So I was like, hmm, is it worth the fifty dollars and extra night in the hotel room to say that I flew, like? across the country like for like for less than 50 bucks is it worth that hmm yes <laughs> like it kind of feels like it might be because it's crazy but have you ever noticed that okay this is a massive tangent but have you ever noticed that <laughs> by the way that like every time the flight that you want to take or like the, the day that you're like actually going to take a, a, a an airplane flight is like like there's a cheaper flight the day before or the day after but like the day you have to fly oh, is yeah. more expensive like what the heck what is with that doesn't seem to matter for me when I'm, i fly monday tuesday wednesday near a holiday like right on a holiday like it it doesn't matter shit's always more expensive on the day that i'm trying to fly because i know yeah, they, they know that it's much. me. They're like, hey, fuck this ginger brick. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Bam. So anyway, that's a massive tangent that took up like 10 minutes. Uh, so, I was going to yeah. make an airline joke, but I'm not, I think it would probably get us in trouble if they heard us. That might go but, on someone's head probably anyway. I was going to say like, it must be Delta Airlines. It'd probably go over someone's Yo. head anyway. Uh, Hold on, real quick. I, I have a small tangent to go on on my end because I'm really confused now. Oh, God, so this is actually going to be the tangent episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck tangents it. Um, on so, tangents. one, I was kind of looking into flights to come visit you at some point. But um, I was looking to see when my contract ended with my current job, and it ends on the 27th. Motherfucker, the 27th is a Tuesday. That is weird. <laughs> what the hell? That, you I basically don't... have two days of work and then you're out yeah but i mean like it, what, but when like, did you sign the contract like is it like a 30 day or 60 like day ago? kind of thing like yeah i started this back in july well right i'm just saying like if it's like a 30 or 60 day thing that would explain why it ends on a tuesday because like they don't they're not concerned with you know you ending in a week it's just like okay it's this many days I mean, I guess, yeah. It, it is like a 90-day thing. God, that just... that mm -mm, That's not okay. God, you, it is you, a 90-day thing and you're done in you. 30 minutes? Oh, no, uh, I have minutes, to work from days. home. Oh, darn. Okay, My no, job no, 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 no. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what? I have had several people make the exact same comment about this. Uh... I don't leave my house often. I don't see people anymore. I'm sitting in the same chair for upwards of almost 16 hours a day. It's not healthy. Well, no, I know, kind of like, sounds like you, my routine. You can, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can make the choice to not be at home when you're not working. Like, you can Oh, no, and I try stuff. to. Like, I, I try to, but I don't have money. They actually have cut my hours from what I was told I was being hired on with at 40, and I'm down to 37. Hmm. Yeah, I'd actually look at your contract, because you might actually be able to, like... I'm, I'm probably that. going to. Yeah. And be like, well, <laughs> I didn't, you know... You, you didn't give me the hours, but, uh... 
says right here that you owe me for this many hours, so pay up. Yeah. And on top of that, like, they didn't train us properly to do this job, and then they get mad at us when we're not doing the job properly. Hmm. I'm not hating the idea of the job, I'm hating the company right now. That's yeah. the biggest thing. And the company's name is? <laughs> I'm not stating that, even though, even though by the time anyone at that company probably even gradually hears this podcast i'll be years out at the job yeah I, I mean i'm pretty sure that if you said it like they'd still you know not care <laughs> well no like they'd want to do something about it like so like mm. i don't know they might hit you with a slap suit i don't know how big the company is we're not going to get into that but slap yeah. with hit suit what? no no, <laughs> no it's slap suit is an actual <laughs> term it, it is. stands for strategic slap with a what suit Strategic, lo strategic lawsuit against public participation, and it's actually a big problem. And th those laws need to be uh, like changed and fixed. Um, Slap with a wet noodle. So anyway, God, this this is such a like cluster cluck of an episode. This is all over. Uh, I don't think we have a solid topic. So, yeah. We were going anyway, to well for a while, and then we kind of we got were, and then we went on tangents. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's definitely have stuff cut out, and then it's definitely yeah. hashtag not my fault. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> so back to stuff we're excited for. Yeah, do you want to talk about any of the games that you've been playing lately, Josh? Or yeah, actually, because yeah. um, I I have this wonderful wonderful modding tool on my computer called We Mod. Which allows it me, like, super easy access to, like, simple mods. Like, you know, for, as, as a matter of fact, one of the games that we plan on playing for our Halloween time, or at least I hope we plan on playing this. Spooky time. Yeah. Yeah, for spooky time. Uh, Phasmophobia. As long as Tyler can get his thing to work. <laughs> oh, we'll get it to work, don't you worry. <laughs> he has to redownload it. <laughs> That's fine. We're not, not too worried. Anyway, no, no, I have it installed on my desktop still. I just, I just uninstalled oh, okay. it okay. on my PC because it refuses to work. So, oh. okay. Anyway, so the phasmophobia mods are stuff like unlimited stamina, super walking speed, like extra money, super bright flashlight, shit like that. Oh. And I, I was going through it, and it has a whole list. Like, I think it's got something close to, like, 80,000 games that it can mod just off the bat. That's pretty and impressive. It, it was. Mm. And there was one game that I had just come across, though. And for those of you that do know me, I owned a Switch for a while because mainly I, I watched Jack set the guy play... Uh, Animal Crossing, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I want to play that. So I went out, bought a Switch, bought the game, and, you know. Played. Had some fun. <laughs> and I played, yeah. But um, there's a game out now called uh, Dincom, which I... One of the mods in it was really funny to me, as I had posted in our uh, our chat. You get, uh, er, you get to edit and get unlimited dinks, which is basically the money. <laughs> But this game, down to the T, is pretty much Animal Crossing. You clear out an island. I think the only major difference is, is one, the island is like eight times the normal size that the the new Animal Crossing was, as well as there's multiple islands, not just one big chunk. Yeah. And then there's enemies in the game. Oh, <laughs> like, so creatures that want to kill me. <laughs> so it's kind of like Animal Crossing and, like, Stardew Valley combined. A little bit. Interesting. But yeah, now I, I look through this Wii Mod thing, and I find a bunch of different games that, like, I want to play, stuff that I have that I've wanted to mod, and stuff like that. Like, I got No Man's Sky was another one, where <laughs> I launched the mods, and within five minutes I had myself a, uh, a Star Cruiser. And mind you, that wasn't from me, like, building anything or spawning one in. I legit got into the ship, got all the parts I needed... Flew up to space, found a freighter, and bought it off someone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it was weirdly fast. And then it has, like, tools for the, uh, you know, learn all the languages, get all these unlimited points and stuff. But it's a really cool tool for I stuff that I didn't realize would... 
Which I was just going to say, I hate the idea of all of those mods for No Man's Sky. Like, it just, well, it mind just you, sounded no like, Sky. Th those ones in particular just sounded like you just took all of the challenge out of No Man's Sky. Well, and, and that was the whole point of it. Like, it's got an insane amount of, like, stupid mods. Like, unlimited materials packs. It's like, okay, so what you're saying is I no longer have to go out and mine shit. I can just hit a button and get the stuff. Great. <laughs> yeah, like you but, basically only don't need to leave the planet you're starting on. Pre well, yeah, pretty much. But my big thing with any mods like this is I don't play it to like, oh, yeah, I beat the game. No, I play with the mods simply to see what can be built, like see what an end goal is. And then I'll start up a new game. Mode. And yeah, I, I, I go into creative mode, see what can be made, and then in normal games, I will go and actively, like, do the things I need to do to get there. Okay, I can accept so, that. So, yeah, I'm not cheating for the sake of, oh, hey, look, I can do all this stuff. No, I do it because I want to see what I can get. And there's one game in this mod pack that I have been trying to make work, but I never can, and I've reached out to the developer of the mod pack... And the uh, to them on Discord, and I'm like, hey, the specific game I'm talking about is Gold Rush. It's a uh, Discovery Channel show where they actively dig for gold and somehow have drama. But, uh, <laughs> drama digging for gold? Literally I, I gold say that, uh. <laughs> I, I say that very well, knowing that I watched a snippet of an episode where one of the main one of the main people had actually passed away. Which now I kind of feel like a dick, but uh oh, <laughs> yeah. But, like, when you play the game, you actively dig up bits of gold, you smelt it down, and you sell it, and you buy bigger equipment to do this faster. The mods allow me unlimited money, gold, and fuel, so I don't have to hunt so hard, but none of the mods ever fucking work. And it's upsetting. <laughs> Are you following the install instructions, right? Yeah, that that's the wonderful thing with this, with this mod thing, is, like, I'll bring up another one here. Uh, Core Keeper, actually. Yeah. Um, it has unlimited health, food, super speed, easy digging, fishing. Oh god, that's got a lot of shit actually. But um, so all I have to do is select the game I want to play, and it actually has a little play button that automatically launches the game from whatever platform it is, like Steam, Epic, EA, whatever other things are out there. Yeah. And then all I have to do is hit specific buttons on my keyboard, like, for the unlimited health, I'd have to hit F1 inside of Core Keeper once it's launched. So, it's more of a cheat than a mod, which... Kind of like a... Kind of... The old Game Shark. I yeah, suppose. it's basically a glorified yeah. Game Shark. But yeah, so, I, I've been just kind of going through their list of games and seeing, like, oh, hey... I've been looking at this game. Let's see what some of the mods are so I can see what the game is about. Yeah. And, yeah, I played that recently. Um, and this one was just because of our friend Tony. I've been getting back onto Apex Legends. I had to fight that for a while. Jeez. <laughs> well, <laughs> in my defense, one, I'm not good at any Battle Royale games whatsoever. I'm good enough... <clears throat> In games by myself, like Call of Duty, I can rock a free-for-all, no problem. But that's only because I'll wear my headset, and it has, like, the six, or, like, the three speakers in each headset, or in each earpiece, so I can fucking pick out where they're going. Yeah, like the 3D sound, or whatever it is? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. So that's the only way I can ever win those games. Otherwise, I am complete dog shit at, like, first-person shooters. But I love playing them. Fair enough. I mean, I'm just complete dog shit at shooters. I can't yeah. even claim that I love them. I'm, oh, I like them. I'm like, just <laughs> complete dog shit. <laughs> in <Yeah>. general. <laughs> no, yeah, uh. just as a person, you know? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> but, um, no, there was actually another game. And I think our friend Kevin also, um, I, I gotta find his thing for Twitch because I want to plug him. Uh, Mr. Hercules 7 on Twitch, if you want to watch him live stream, he actually recommended this game, the Turbo Golf Racing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't played that yet. Yeah. Really interesting. It's, it's kind of a fun game. Like, 
It's just it's Rocket League, but golf. Yeah, I was gonna say so it's a bit of like and, a race too. Yeah, I was gonna like, say, does it? Yeah, have it's like it's ball racing. And stroke first. count, or is it just trying like who get who can hit the ball? It's first, ball first, first, first of the first of the hole. Okay, so you're yeah. it's just Rocket League, but you're like it's racing, racing all the way to the goal. okay. Yeah, yeah, and well, it's got some. Yeah, you. it's got some really cool maps. Like it's got like spiral ones where. And mind you, you can hit the ball off field, and it's got rockets, it's got shields, it's got super boost. And one of the main things that this kind of differs from Rocket League is you can actually modify, like, both your car and the ball to have different attributes. Mm. Like, I have one right now where I increase the power of my boost, but my boost time is shortened. So, like, I go from having, like, normal 88 tier gas to octane boost but i cut my fuel source by a third yeah it's like you you accelerate faster but you don't go as far with the boost yeah yeah, yeah. so that that was another game i was playing which was really fun i won my second game ever and i'm able to place top three normally every game Hacks. dang <laughs> no i actually have decent at it because as well it has like the same thing that rocket league has like the double boost but Obviously, I'm aiming at a ball that pushes faster with it now. And then I have another ability where if I hit control on my keyboard, it activates, like, I don't even want to say, like, a bubble around me, but it pushes the ball before I can touch it. Mm. But yeah, as far as, like, so. like, Kevin was saying something about that, that, like, the ball, like, goes fly, like, flies way farther. Like, it's really easy to overhit oh, yeah. the ball, which I guarantee it, I'm going to do a ton. Um, oh, I have. <laughs> I've, I've watched people DNF, which for those of you that are unaware, it's did not finish or did not qualify, depending on where, what sport you're watching. But I've sat there and watched people hit a ball on the final green for 30 seconds and not get it in. And I'm <laughs> like, <"H-> why? <laughs> Man, are they some people just... like a Donkey Kong controller. Some people. They must be. They must be just playing on the Donkey Kong some drums. Some people just can't get it in. <laughs> I know. Some people have troubles finding the hole. Indeed. So, uh, talking of sports, there's one other thing that uh, this has nothing to do with what our topic's supposed to be about, but I, uh, topics. Oh, absolutely not. So this topic is basically just like, <laughs> oh hey, what happened this last week or is going to happen next week? Uh, so. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. This one's actually about gaming. Sorry, I just had a different thought jump into my head. <laughs> so, did you guys see uh, the whole like, um, like the whole Halo challenge thing that happened? Like, Moist Critical launched a, a Halo challenge. No. no. Okay. So the challenge <laughs> was Halo Two um, on Legendary Deathless Run, uh, like all skulls active uh, except for Envy. Which, if you don't know, that is basically impossible. Uh, but okay. some guy called Gervalin actually friggin' did it. So that's nuts. Uh, oh, damn. But yeah. Uh, it, it, like, I don't know if you guys have ever played Halo 2 on Legendary just by itself. Yeah, like that, I, I've played all of them That's on already enough I mean, obviously, a I've struggle and, like, annoying enough. I've just played Halo 2 in multiplayer. Um, but... I was say, um, uh, Rooster Teeth or you know let's plays they'll uh they'll do god what's it called where it's it's kind of the same thing of like oh you know halo game all legendary all skulls on i have to look up the name because it's gonna bug me but anyway yeah they they uh yeah they, they, that's what they i'm like so first of all lasso le, yeah <laughs> legendary or like halo 2 on all on, skulls on legendary on. already a pain in the ass Oh, yeah. Then you add all skulls on, minus Envy, because Envy is actually beneficial for the player. Um, so that's more of a pain in the ass. And then you have to do a deathless run? Like, what the heck? Like, I don't know, man. Some people, like, I'm like, how did you, like, how do you accomplish that? That is inhuman. Um... I mean, there are people that can, like, glitch through levels really quickly. Yeah, but Oh, God, still, what was it? Like, just, oh, my God, even doing that one of the nuts to do. <laughs> there was another challenge where one of the Halo levels is literally called Highway. 
And the challenge is to beat the level without touching the highway. Yeah. And there has been two people that did it. All because, well, I shouldn't say two, there's been three because one initially did, like, the guide for it. Mm. But then within minutes of it, they recorded and put it up. But they, like, they had to jump on certain crates, grenade jump over places, and some of these challenges these people think of is insane. Yeah. Some people are just, just have a lot of time on their hands. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. So, I, uh, so I have one more thing. This is like the last thing that I can think of uh, that like happened this last week that I that I you know want to talk about. Um, so, I am a season ticket holder for local sports team, and uh, <laughs> just to you know avoid <laughs> any sort of confrontation there. And, uh, so I was, you know, I was at the game or whatever. I've been going to games and stuff. I got an email that said something about, uh, I was violating the fan code of conduct. Basically another fan, uh, had reported me, um, like to the, like ticket agent, like the tip ticket reps or whatever, or the team, whatever, um, saying that basically I've been being belligerent and like excessively swearing and yelling and stuff. So here's the thing. You um, swear a lot. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. First of all, it's an outdoor sporting event. Um, yeah. Like you're going to hear shouting and swearing like, you know, second of all, nah. it's never like offensive. Like I've never been like homophobic or racist about like, I'm just, you know, it's like an opposing player and I'm telling them they suck. Like it, you know, it is, it's what happens at sporting <laughs> events, you know, or, or the referee no, but... makes a questionable call and me along with a bunch of others are like, Oh, that's bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. That happens. So I get the, the thing. I was like, all right. So I, I, you know, talk to one of the ticket rep persons, people. I'm like, all right, what is the problem? Is it like an issue of swearing or like, and they're like, Oh yeah, yeah. It's mostly the swearing is, is the complaints that we're getting. I'm like, all right. So I, I'll, you know, tone down the swearing. I'll, uh, you know, I'll try to keep it under wraps. Last night, I'm shouting and blah, 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 blah. I dropped one F-bomb with other people. There was other people in the section that, that like, said it too. Like, referee made a questionable decision. I, it was something to, to the effect of, like, oh, what the fuck are you looking at? Um, yeah. And then I got, like, a text from the ticket rep saying that, like, oh, this is your final warning, blah, 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 blah. So I respond to it, and I'm like, okay, like, what? Is, I'm like, what's the complaint about? And they're like, oh, we, they said that it's swearing and yelling. And I'm like, okay, well, first of all... It's an outdoor yeah, sporting I, I'm, event. I'm like, okay, so, like, I dropped one F-bomb. Like, I'll give you that one. Like, that's, whoops, my bad. So, like, but to me, that shouldn't yeah. be, like, final warning. This is like, all right, I dropped one F-bomb, my bad. Um, and again, not I'm not the only one doing it, so... That, I'm not real saying, quick. Is there I, basically I'm, just like someone watching you the whole time see, you're at those yeah, sporting okay. events? So, Apparently, so at this to point, so, to me, other people doing it isn't ne like that's that's not, that doesn't necessarily make it okay for me to do it. My point is like, why aren't other people also getting reported? That's why yeah. I'm kind of questioning like what you said. Like, is somebody just watching us? Like, that's why I'm like does, specifically yeah, you. Yeah, I'm like, does somebody just you're not right. like me for some reason? Apparently. Like, um, we're picking on you. It is all yeah. on you now. <laughs> well, like at a certain point, I'm just like, I mean, this is almost to the point where like I'm being harassed. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm the one being harassed at this point. Like, what the heck? Not to be a snowflake about it, but you know. Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> but if you're really like one of the few that's being called out in an instance where there's hundreds of it, you're being singled out for yeah. a, a no good reason. Yeah, so, like, I, yeah. I, I went on to the, the team's, like, um, Facebook chat page, like, the fan page or whatever, and I'm like, hey, is anybody else going to... No one at Like, everyone else is like, yeah, no, I haven't had any of this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, I sit in this section. Is there anyone else in this section that's had this? And they're like, nope, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah, it, it seems as though I'm the only one, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just an asshole, but... <laughs> but it, like, or, I mean, again, no comment. Like, yes, I'm an asshole. But I mean, <laughs> maybe I'm more of an asshole than I think I am. But like, I don't know, man. Doesn't seem 
Well, and this is a weird thing. I've been a season ticket holder for, like, five seasons now. And literally never had a problem of, with, like, anything regarding this. Until this season. So I'm like, I don't know. Are you able to, like, move sections at all, or... Well, see, here's my argument. Uh, why should I have to move sections? Be- well, more of, a, more of a scientific reason. But, like... No, more, more of a scientific like, reason, because if you move and you're no longer drinking the plates, but someone else is, then it's who's ever sitting in that section. Oh, oh, this is the kicker, too. So we have, uh, we have, uh, like, a, a, like, a section of seats. We, we have, like, uh, four seats that me my brother and a couple of our friends like that there are designated seats for our supporters section. Um, so like, or for our, um, uh, for our, uh, whatever it's called, uh, season tickets. So we're sitting not like, we're usually not sitting in the like same seats. We just, you know, whatever night we're like, Oh, I'll sit in this seat this night. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So last night, when I got the, the thing, I wasn't sitting in my seat. I was sitting in the seat next to the seat that's, like, designated on my season ticket holder thing. So I'm like, how did I get a text for my seat when there's no one in my seat tonight? You know? Interesting. I'm like, so that yeah. so that means that somebody in the section, or, like, whoever's issuing the complaint, knows what my, like seat is supposed to be and like knows me like my face which leads me to believe even more that like they're specifically targeting me so i wonder if they're trying to get you like banned so then that they can take your seat i I don't think that's the issue but are you like like in a prime chair not really no we're like i mean so like we're the fourth row up from the like front but like that's not a super big deal um like i i don't know man but we'll just probably next season move back to the front row like we were before. So, but yeah, it's just <laughs> a weird scenario. I'm just like, what the heck? <sighs> God, I feel like we go off on a tangent for that for hours. Yeah, possibly. We were already on a tangent. <laughs> I mean, like specifically in events like this. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I've had a couple times with that. I mean, maybe yeah. for another video. Oh, yeah, so we, yeah. we can do that for another podcast. Just sporting event. What the hex? I can talk about the time. Yeah. Well, not even sporting events, but just yeah, just what the heck? <laughs> Why me? Oh, we, 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 oh, we could do an we could do an Ada um like podcast. Oh, what? In, uh, the uh, it's M I the asshole. Uh, oh um, yeah, we could we could do one of those. <laughs> um. I could talk about the one time that I got kicked out of an ev- out of a uh, sporting event. Yeah. I say I got a couple. Completely different that. sporting event, by the way. Like, di- like unrelated. <laughs> Don't go into it. We got to talk no, about I, it in a I, different podcast. No, I, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that it's completely unrelated. Do not take that into account when deciding whether I'm the asshole for this instance. Um, oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. One last kicker. There's a family section of the stadium where people can go sit if they don't want to hear swearing. So, oh. and we are nowhere oh, near that section. So, You're in the so it's definitely a section. So, you know, yeah, no. <laughs> that's, that's just a fun little bonus thing that like weird. I don't, I don't know, man, but yeah. so, anyway. so the, this last game, I've just been shouting every time there's a, like something I don't like, I just shout, I disagree with that decision or, <laughs> or, I would show uh, disapproval for that, but I'm not allowed to. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Just being hyper sarcastic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, you got to make a sign next time that just says "I disapprove." See, that's what I said. I, I was it. like, "Oh, well, we're not allowed to shout anymore." So, like, next time, should I just bring a sign that say that says like "I would shout, but I'm not allowed"? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then watch them get pissy. Oh, well, he's blocking my view. Well, fuck you. Nope, can't say fuck. That's a swear. Uh, I mean, outside yeah. of the stadium. Oh, yeah, so I'll send you guys a link uh, to the... There's a guy that does, like, uh, meme tweets. Like, meme, like M-E-M-E, tweets, uh, like, about the the team and stuff. And um, and he, like, did one about this because, like, he got a hold of me. He's like, hey, I heard this happen, like... Um, 
because uh, he saw me post on the Facebook thing. He's like, oh, hey, I heard the, that this happened. Like, do you have an email or a text that like, you could send me? I'll blur out the names and all that. I just want to use it for my Twitter. Oh, nice. And dude is having a friggin' field day with it. I'll send you guys links. It's hilarious. <laughs> Nice. But yeah. All right. So uh, real quick, Kyle, do you have any, any weird tangents about things that have happened <laughs> recently or are going to happen before we have to end? No, I think I'm tangented out. <laughs> <laughs> tangented out. Uh, so back on the original topic. No, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up with I an think original we're topic. On... Oh no! See, I we can split this into two. <laughs> we we can split this into two. Into... I promise this will be a into quick two thing. What? To two different episodes. We have tangents, and then we have things that we've did that we're we or we're excited about. Enough. We don't, dude. That's gonna yeah, be we don't so have hard to for cut excited around. stuff. Let's that's just, gonna be like. Let's just cram it into one minutes. stuff about this week. Kyle can redo an intro if he wants. It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> fine. Then I have nothing. No, you, no, right. you can like Do talk about the, the thing you're excited for. Like, oh, well, yeah, no, I was just super excited that um, God of War Ragnarok should be coming out here in the next couple months. Yeah, that's fair. I, I can't, that's gonna be a big game. I can't believe nobody yeah. talked about Stray. Uh, I'm I played it. I'm a little indifferent on it. Like it was a cool idea, but the fact that they gave us so little to work off of when the game, like when they first announced it, and everyone was going different directions with the idea, and then we got what it is now. It's a cool game. I thought it was enjoyable, but just not what. I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I think that's, yeah. that, that's I think all. that's kind of the, like, it's that whole problem again of like people had assumptions of what it was going to be instead of just like letting it be what it is, you know? Well, Cause the original, from what I remember hearing, the original idea was you get to play it as a detective cat, not as a cat fighting off the fucking head crabs from half life. I didn't hear anything. Spoilers. About detective yeah. Neither cat. did I. This was something that came out months ago, like early, early 2022, late 2021. Well, yeah, and Maybe but like, like yeah, their initial idea and they like scrapped it. Well, well I don't know, but the whole thing was supposed to be a... Did, that, go ahead. So I was just going to say that might have been just like somebody assuming what it was going to be, you know? Well, no, there was multiple articles on it. Right, but... Like, no, but, I, I don't know. But, but that's but. the way games journalism works now. Nobody actually talks to the devs and figures stuff out. They go, oh, Kota... Uh, sorry, mm, let's not do that. They go, oh, uh, <laughs> video game uh, online... Developer. No, like, video game <laughs> online thing said X, so we're gonna do that. And then the third, you know, video game website goes, oh, those two video game websites said this. We'll do that. And then a fourth one does the exact same thing, and then it's just like nobody's talked to the devs. Well, yeah, just but one. I I don't remember you know, where I heard about one it. One person but... heard a rumor and just flew with it, and then suddenly everyone's talking about it, and like that's not at all the case. But there was something about it being confirmed. That was that was confirmed my biggest. Confirmed is thing. a nonsense was that... word that means nothing. There I are understand so many that, things that have been let me finish. Confirmed. <laughs> I'm trying to go on a tangent. Damn it. No. <laughs> Well, then fuck tangent you. Take denied. this all out. <laughs> no, actually, no. There is one tangent I have to have about oh, the game. Okay, go. Is that people are claiming that the game about a adorable, playable cat is racist. What? That's kind of wild. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually read the articles. This is one of the few I've read. People are claiming because it takes, like, inspiration from, like, Asian and Chinese culture that it's racist. And I'm like, they what? Can have themes in a game without being racist. Yeah. Well, but like because one of the characters wears like that that rounded pointed hat and the way they dress, and I'm like, they're like the guardian. Ro- yeah. Yeah. But and the ba- and everyone's like, they are robots. Who yeah. cares? It's a style but, clothing from an era that well doesn't exist anymore. Oh, and what's but, even funnier is there. There's like an actual, actual year amount from the events when humans were on the planet to the point in the game, and it was some stupid, crazy amount, like some three million years. And, and it's like, who the fuck cares what inanimate creature robots are wearing? Yeah, maybe they oh. were built by the Asian community. I mean, well, there's uh, well, also the concept of like. 
A long time ago, I mean. Like, just because some, like, just because there's elements of a culture doesn't mean that it's, like, inherently racist. Like, even Avatar The Last Airbender got, like, the, you know, the, the show, the thing that exists. Um, <laughs> just to, just to loop <laughs> back around with that again. Um, but yeah, the, the, the Avatar The Last Airbender show got crap about, like, they're culturally appropriating or whatever because they used, like, aesthetics from, like, Japanese and Chinese cultures and stuff. And, like, the Inuit and all that. And it's like, no, just because they're, like... Just because something is inspired by a culture doesn't mean that it's, like, insulting that culture. You fucking idiots. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was just, like... Let, let me... Somebody had put a Reddit post up about it that, mind you, the whole it being canceled and racist thing says that that's an oversimplification of the criticism. There's an article titled Stray Falls into the Usual Orientismal Pitfalls of Cyberpunk Genre. Basically, because like cyberpunk and all them take minor tits and bits from Asian culture that they overdid it and that's why it's being racist. And it's, it's so dumb to read some of this yeah, stuff. So that's a real shit take. Anyway, uh, we're approaching an hour, so we should probably cut, cut off. Here, oh yes. Unless yeah, anybody yeah. has so do, very, does anyone quick... have any tips that they can glean from this? Yeah, so very... <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we gotta do a tip. I don't, I have no idea what kind of tip I, I'm going to do. I, I have a tip. I have a tip. And this kind of goes I, I off think of... we all have a tip, I'm pretty sure. Is anyone here Jewish? <laughs> not, not um... that kind of. <laughs> You're Jewish. Sorry, that was racist. Damn it, no. <laughs> no, that's sexist. Nah, whatever. Racist, sexist. Oh, no. both. I, either way, okay. audible eye roll. Uh, audible eye roll canceled. We're shutting this down. Anyway. <laughs> but no, I have a tip for this kind of tangible event. As long as somebody isn't doing bodily harm or hurting somebody at an event, don't don't ruin the fun for them. Yeah. <laughs> like you're you're all there to have fun, and if you have a problem with what they're saying, change seats. Oh, yeah. Ask to be seated in a different location. Oh yeah, this is also this isn't a uh, this isn't my tip, but a, a, a piggyback on that. If you have a problem with the way that somebody is interacting at a sporting event, like again, if as long as they're not being violent or physically aggressive, just go talk to them. Be like, hey, like, I would appreciate if you, like, you know, tone down the language or something. Like, I am, yeah. I consider myself a relatively approachable, not very scary person. So, like, if somebody had a problem, they could just, you could just come talk to me. Like, most people at sporting events just say, sound hey. aggressive, but, like, they're still people. Just go talk to them. They're just there to have a good time. Yeah. Let yeah, off a little like, steam. Be polite about it too. Don't come up and hey, watch your language. Like, be like, hey, can you please, you know, you know. <laughs> hey, I got kids over here. Can we, you know, tone this down a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. But my tip: uh, if you're going to, if you're <laughs> going to be modding games, like, please make sure to read the README files <laughs> and like installation files. Because those will Mod help you a lot. Uh, Mod responsibly. <laughs> make sure you're getting mods from reliable websites, otherwise they can destroy your computer. Uh, yeah, that's my tip. Don't be stupid while modding. Fair. <laughs> I I got a mod one time, and the readme file literally just said Chungus, so that was cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's where you got that from. <laughs> oh no, Chungus is a thing. Do you, do you not know about Chungus? Big Chungus? No. Uh, no. Wait, seriously? Oh my gosh, this man. No. Um, it's fine. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll teach you. Um, well, we'll explain later. So yeah, I'll explain it when I. He's gonna be roasted in the I'll comments. I'll explain it no, when I'm so. older. Um, <laughs> when you're older? Yeah. Also, what comments? Okay. Oh, he's gonna comment on this. On the YouTube channel. Who's listening to this? Anyway. <laughs> no, we've had some views. Yeah. Uh, anyway, well, uh, thanks to anyone that is watching or listening, but, you know. Yeah, uh, thank you. So, I guess my tip would be... 
Fuck. <laughs> Just <laughs> tip. Fuck. <laughs> no, I guess, I guess my tip would be, like, you know, find stuff you're excited about, you know? Find something to be excited and happy for. I guess that's that's my thing. That's fair enough. Life, life can be mundane sometimes. Find something to make it less so. Yeah, that's fair. Even enough. like a little thing, like you know, um, like visiting friends you haven't been seen in a long time. Like I, so when when my flight comes in, I'm I might have lunch with our friend that lives in Illinois. Might not, but like. I'm kind of excited about that. It's only going to be like a 20 minute lunch, but like, that's going to be cool. Still cool. So yeah, even little stuff mm-hmm. like that. Find something to be excited about for the By the way, the tell future. friend I say hello. I'm, I mean, you're going to see them in Madison, aren't you? I don't know. It depends what time. Well, I mean, aren't we all do? This is a different thing anyway. All right. So I think yeah. that is all. Uh, check out all of our links and stuff on linktree.com slash procrastination nation studio uh we, it's actually been newly yeah, updated to say, include all of our twitch Josh channels just updated it with our twitch channels on there i never stream on twitch because you know no one wants to watch a slideshow um, <laughs> <laughs> but when the time comes it'll one be one day i'll have yeah. good internet like six years from now yeah like this weekend which dies <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Anything yeah. else? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Anyone? Bueller? Wanna, uh, tell yeah. anyone. <laughs> right? Well, uh, you know, classic YouTuber thing like subscribe, share, tweet, do. Follow. Do the running man. I don't know. Um, <laughs> do whatever the running all the man. things are. Comment. That's. If you do the running comment, man, that's the post other, it on our Twitter. Er, post it on our Twitter. Didn't say. Also, by the way, uh, just real quick, that I'm gonna start posting shorts on stuff, so look out for those if anybody cares. Ooh, um, interesting. Yeah, I've just been lazy about it. I'll get it done anyway. I'll get okay. it done eventually. I, I mean, you're following it, it's, it's, the studio's I'll name. I'll get it done eventually. That's our <laughs> that's our like tagline. Anyway, uh, so I think I think anyway. that's all I have. <laughs> anybody else? Perfect send off. God, this is such a fucking mess. Perfect, perfect outro for this <laughs> <All right>. episode. <laughs> All right, bye. 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 <laughs>